Hi everyone, today's video is going to be this very simple and affordable stove top cover that I made for my stove. I hope you all like it. Let me show you how I did it. So everything I got mostly was from Home Depot. These are the boards that I use. I purchased two of them. And then these right here are the ones that will go on each side. On top of that will be the handles that I also got from Home Depot. Look how inexpensive they were, 158. And they look really nice. And also I purchased some Gorilla Glue. And then I told them that I would like for them to please uh, cut them up. I gave them my measurements. Everything will be down in the description bar for you guys. Now for each board, I took my time. We got four of them. So I took two first and I glued them. While I did that, I did put them to, I wanna say about two hours or so for them to dry. It says in the instructions of the glue, 30 minutes, but I really wanted to give it some time. I did do this also late at night. So after I did these two, I did the other two and I placed them all together. I won't be showing that because I completely forgot to film this part, but I did do the same thing right here, two at a time. Then I placed all four of them and left them overnight. The next day, I sand the wood. I wanted everything to have a nice, smooth surface. It wasn't much that I had to do, but like I said, I wanted everything to just be nice and smooth. So I did a little bit on top and around the edges. To cover any gaps, I went over with some caulk and then I smoothed it out with my finger. And after that, to remove any excess of the caulk, I went over with a damp rag. For the sideboards, I went in with some more of the Gorilla Glue. I placed it down, but then I saw that it wasn't staying completely flat. And it was a huge gap when I was trying to press down with my hands, as you can see right here. So I took a small clamp and I placed it right in the middle. Press pressure, I left that about maybe an hour or so. After that, I switched over to the other side and did the other one. After that was nice, set, and dry, I went over with a black matte paint. I didn't show it right here, but there'll be another clip that you will see it in the background. I will have it down in the description bar for you. I just went in with one coat of this black paint. After that, I went over with the white chalk paint that I have from another DIY, and I placed also just one coat. I wanted the black to peek through, even though I was going to sand after. I went over with a small sheet that I had left over from earlier, but I went over with my hand because I didn't want it to be so intense. I just wanted some areas just to, for the black to peek through, so I did it with my hands, and I went over the board, and I went over the edges with it. For the design, I purchased this from Sheen. I think it was either three to five dollars. I will look for the link and I will have it down in the description bar. I was supposed to put this on my wall, but I really liked the way it looked and I wanted to paint something on top of this cover, but then I was like, you know what? No, I really like the message, the way the words look, and actually the way the picture looks on the sheen that you're supposed to place it on the, on the wall. I prefer to have it on the stove cover. And I'm glad that I did, because they stick very well, they did not move. It just turned out really good, and it was, like I said, less than $5.
once the handles are placed this completes this diy stove top cover let me know what you guys think down in the comments i've been wanting one so bad for so long so i decided to make my own since i couldn't find quite something like this well at least to my liking but i'm really glad i did it i love the way it turned out let me know what you guys think down in the comments thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys on my next video bye